Last year at this time, communities all across the Treasure Coast were ravaged by this toxic blue green algae blooms. Really, how can you forget about it? But now an alarming bright green algae bloom has been detected in Lake Okeechobee. Scientists and local leaders are worried about what it might turn into and are pleading with the state to tell them what's going on. The now's Alana Quillen is live in Port Mayaka with more on all of this. Alana. Well, Ashley, those algae blooms were found just on the other side of this levee here at Port Mayaka, and not much is known about these blooms. That is until a former Martin County commissioner took a flight over the area. We learned today that the state already knows about this, and it's now a waiting game to get test results back to see what happens next. For former Martin County Commissioner Jackie Thurlow Lippish, I want to see. I want to see for myself. It's a haunt from last year's toxic algae crisis. I got very emotional when I saw the algae and the extent of it. While taking a flight with her husband Wednesday, she found an algae bloom in Lake Okeechobee. We get right off of Port Mayaka, which is just here, a couple miles, and there it is. You start to see it. It flashes. Uh, the colors are bright fluorescent green. DEP did confirm in an email with WPTV that a bloom was first found on Lake O during a July 12th flyover. Lippish wishes the state would be more transparent. Because they don't want to get people all worked up and that's understandable, but at the same time for our families, we need to know what's going on. Gary Goforth is the former chief engineer for the South Florida Water Management District. It's a significant negligence on the state of Florida. Uh, in their data records, they, they make note of the presence of blue-green algae, and yet it's sometimes weeks or months before the public is alerted. Now at the peak of algae blooming season, he says a tropical storm or intense rain could mean trouble. You've got very high temperatures in, in the lake water. You've got a significant amount of nutrients already in the water column. He says the next step is to make sure locks around the lake remain closed. That just exposes hundreds of thousands of people to the dangers of the blue-green algae. DEP says test results should be available by Monday. They're throughout the lake, uh, and it just takes the right wind conditions that you'll see this enormous uh, mass congealing and coming together. So it's, it's, it's a dangerous, potentially dangerous situation. Now, the state says they do post the dates and locations of samples collected on their website. Test results are added as they become available. For now, DEP told me they do want people to avoid any algae blooms that they see on the lake as much as possible. Reporting live in Port Mayaka, I'm Alana Quillen for the Now, South Florida.